Okay, hello student. Today I want to continue the tutorial for 2.4. I think everybody also finished for this topic. Okay, today I will discuss about this tutorial for the objective question and also the structure question. For the student, you still not yet get about the this tutorial paper. You can go there and go to download. I already put into the description for in the YouTube. So hopefully you can get it and also you can do it. Then we check the answer here. Okay, let's see what is that. Okay, first one about the objective question. This is the simple of the question about the inertia. So we go see what's, what is about this. Okay, the which one following statement is true. So we're going to check about the inertia uh, statement. Inertia is a gravity pull on the mass. Inertia is an acceleration of the body which moves linearly. Initial is a property of the body that resists to change in the state of the rest or motion of the body. So that means inertia just one of the concept. That means uh, if the object they are rest, they will continue to rest. If the object is moving, they will continue to move in a straight line. So that one we call it as a inertia. So very clear the answer should be C. Okay. So now we go to second one. Okay, the second one they show about two of the pale. Okay, experiment they show with the uh with the sand. Which following show about the correct observation? Okay, we got pale Q and also the pale P. Inside the P they got sand. So understood, the pale P is more heavier compared to the Q. Okay, the question is they ask you which one is show about correct of the observation. So we find it for the A, it was difficult to start the Q moving but easy to stop it moving. So they're talking about the Q. Actually, Q is empty. There's more easier to start. So the A should be wrong. It, uh, for the B, it was easy to start the P. Actually, P is not easy to start because you find it the mass increases. Actually, the inertia is high. That means they resist to change the motion. Okay, how about the C? It was difficult to start the Q moving and to stop it moving. So they're talking about the Q. So Q is a empty. So we understood empty means the mass is a less. Inertia also is a less. So the conclusion should be easy to move, easy to stop. So C also is wrong. Okay, how about the donkey? It was difficult to start the P moving and also to stop it moving. Yeah, D is exactly the concept of the inertia. Bigger mass means inertia is bigger, means the object is very hard to start and also very hard to stop it. So the final answer should be donkey. Okay, then we go to question number three. Okay, question number three, they show about uh, one of the uh, experiment. Ahmad did an experiment as shown. Okay, which of the following did not show about the correct observation? Did not. Okay, so and explain why he quickly snapped the cardboard horizontally. Okay, now you're going to see which one is not, the, not related. Uh. The coil remains stationary a while because its inertia of remaining at rest resists the motion. Okay, B, the coil dropped into the glass because of the gravity pull. The coil dropped into the glass because inertia of the motion of the cardboard start to moving it. Okay, you must see very clear because every every words they also want to catch you. Okay, how about the A? The coil remains stationary. Okay, we know the coil is never moved together with the cardboard. The coil will remain stationary a while because it's inertia. So they mean they're talking about the inertia of the coil. They want to remain rest. Okay, B. The coin will drop into the glass, yeah, because it's stationary. The cardboard just moved. That means the coin is never moved. They will drop into the glass because of pull of gravity. Okay, let's see the C. The coin will drop. Okay, first one is correct. The coin will drop into the glass. Okay, then you see because. Because inertia of motion of the cardboard. So for this one, we cannot say inertia the motion of the cardboard. Okay, they're not related with the inertia of the cardboard. Remember, you want to test about inertia. Inertia normally is happen for the object. They are never move. Okay, the object you force it to move, that one is not related for the inertia. 
So from here, they're talking about inertia of the cardboard. That means this one is totally wrong. Okay. Okay. So from here, did not show correct answer. So the answer should be C. Okay. This one is not related. Okay. Then we go to the question number four. Inertia balance is used to compare the mass of the Okay, compare the mass of the two different objects by comparing. Okay, inertia balance, they want to find about inertia and also the, um, the mass of the object. So from here, we're using what to represent the, uh, the inertia. First one, they say amplitude of the oscillation in the inertia balance. Okay, amplitude is not related with the inertia. Okay, the period of the oscillation of the inertia balance. So that means you change about the mass. So you find it to oscillate. Okay, mass increasing oscillate the time will be longer. So period of oscillation actually does uh, represent inertia. Okay, the degree of the damping of the inertia balance, no. The depletion of the inertia balance, also no. So the answer should be B. Okay, let's see the question 5. Which one object has the greatest inertia? So greatest inertia related with the mass. So we find it which one A, B, C, D, the mass should be highest. That means the inertia should be greater. So the mass for bicycle should be the lowest lah, because 15 kg. The car only 2000 kg. Let's see the flight. The plane is 1.2. 10 power of 5. Okay, how about the shape? Shape is power of 8. So the answer should be donkey. Donkey, the mass is the highest. So the inertia should be the highest. Okay, number 6. The diagram shows the pilot drive, uh, rider. The moving backwards when the motorcycle accelerate. So that means the rider, they're not ready to change the motion. So when the motorcycle start to move, they will launch to backward. So the backward movement of the pilot rider can be explained by using Okay, for this one topic, we're talking about inertia. Sure, the answer is the concept of inertia. Okay, then we go through the uh, structure question. There's a number seven. A student, they put a track under the load that's shown in the diagram figure one. Okay, you see the diagram, they got one load. Load got two track, track P and track Q. P is above, then the Q is bottom. So from here, you can see the hand, hand start to pull the track. Q. Okay, you see the question what they want to ask. Which string has greater tension? They ask you P and Q. Which one afforded more of the tension? So your answer, you must see the Q. Q just afford one tension. That's a pulling force. Okay, a hand apply the force to pull the string Q. How about the P? P afforded two forces. One is the width of the load. Another one is a force pulling. So that means from here, they ask you which one greater tension. So your answer sure is a string P. Okay, let's see the answer. That's a string P. Okay, then we continue the question. Okay, if the if he increases the pulling force gradually, gradually means slowly. Okay, now they pull the Q slowly. Okay, and also increase the force. Which one part of the track will be break? Okay, they ask you P and Q. Which one will be break? Uh, snap first. So from here, your answer sure is a P. You can check. Okay, this one pulling force gradually. You must see this one very carefully because this one is a keyword. Keyword is a gradually. Gradually means slowly. So you must think about inertia. Inertia, the situation we cannot happen in the situation is slowly. Normally, inertia happen is very fast. Okay, very fast until the object cannot change, cannot change the original position. So this one they say gradually, so we're not related with the inertia. So from here, you think which one can be break? The answer should be P. Okay, now you need to explain why the P will break. When I've just pulling force gradually. So gradually, that means the situation not related inertia, but related with the force you exert on the string P. Now you must talking about when you just increase the force, your pulling force must be high. Okay, another one, you also need to support the load, is it? So that means now the tension of the string P, they cannot support. So finally, they will break. Okay, let's see the explanation. It is because the string P not able to support two forces. 
okay there's a width of the load another one is your increasing pulling force just now the force they still can support but you're increasing the pulling force so now the string p they cannot support two forces already is over the tension so finally the string p will be broken okay then we go to next question okay diagram still the same but the situation they change if he jerk the track q immediately uh, the keyword is a uh, immediately so that means this one and just now is a different just now it's very slow now it's immediately then with the full force so from here we know that the force they apply very suddenly so very suddenly means they're related with the inertia okay inertia means now the load the inertia from the load they resist to change the motion okay you are pull is it but the load want to change the motion so what happened that mean they will continue stationary finally only the track q will be break okay p is okay because they never transfer the inertia until to the track p so let's see the explanation okay from here they just answered there's a track q okay the track q will be broken uh, if you pull immediately so the reason is it is because the load inertia resists to change the state the state is what stationary and do not transfer they never transfer the force to the track p so finally only the track q snap okay so this one is the same question but they ask two situations one is a faster another one should be slowly so we find it different uh different situation you go to acting to the object then we produce a different result okay so we go to the next question okay number eight figure three they show about two situation of the driver okay let's see the figure three okay we got 3.1 and 3.2 okay driver and also the decorating accessory accessory okay this one is a decorating accessory they are hung to the rear view mirror 3.1 they show when his car is bumped at the back okay that mean at the back they got one car to bump okay another car so from here 3.2 they show the car stop suddenly after collision so the car in the two situation experiences a great impulsive force okay now we see the diagram actually what's the difference okay this one 3.1 they bump by the behind got another car so you find it the decorative accessory that will move to backward okay the driver also same the whole body of the driver they move to the backward and the head is hold by the uh, head rest okay 3.2 the situation is the car stop suddenly the stop suddenly you can see the decorating accessory that will move forward near to the windscreen okay how about the driver the driver also launch forward and hold by the safety belt okay so this one is what we can observe from the diagram okay we drop down the info okay the info 3.1 they say bump at the back driver and decorating accessory move backward 3.2 stop suddenly driver and also decorating accessory they launch forward okay now we're going to see the question what they want to ask okay observe the two situation explain what happened to the driver and decorating accessory that are hung to the rear view mirror when the car is bumped at the back by another car and also stop suddenly after collision so that means you need to explain the situation for the driver and also decorating accessory when the car bumped at the back and also when the car stopped suddenly so we can say together in one set when the bar, when the car bumped by the another car from the back you're talking about driver and decorating okay another situation is when the car stops suddenly then you explain about the driver and also the decorating accessory okay we go to start the first sentence okay the question will give a conclusion again just now is 
the decorating and also driver when they bump from the back and stop suddenly and the last one you need to give the conclusion of the citation they are related to the physic concept okay this one is what physic concept so we go through the uh, comparison first Okay, when a car just bumped at the back by another car, the driver and decorating accessory, they will move backward. Okay, so from here, you need to reverse the sentence to explain when the car stops suddenly. Okay, when the car just stops suddenly, you find the driver and the decorating accessory, they launch forward. Okay, so this one we find it already is four marks because the starting you say bump from the back, you're talking about the driver and also the decorating accessory already is two marks. So another citation is talking about stop suddenly, also is two marks. And the last mark, one mark, they're talking about physics concept. So from here, the physics concept involved there's a inertia. So this one is a final answer for the uh, last question. Give conclusion of this one citation related to physics concept. So the physics concept should be inertia. So this question we call it as a process question. That means you need to explain A until Z. Uh, then say five marks. That means at least inside you got five points to support the whole question. Okay. Then we go through. Uh, D. Okay, D diagram below, they show about the typical salon car. Okay, now uh, Ahmad, they want to modify the car so it can be used to safely as racing car. So this one is a keyword. They want to modify, become racing car, but they want safe. State one modification for the Ahmad could be made to give the suitable concept in the physics in every following aspect. Okay, let's see the aspect. Okay, we need to talk about the safety, what you need to add in the car. Number two, you must talking about raising car. Actually, the shape is how. Okay, number three, the power of the car. Number four, the stability for the car. And the last one, the mass of the car. So important, the whole thing we need to talking about safety and also raising. Okay, from this one question, when you see there's a 10 marks, so normally we need to create a table for. Okay, table form, that means you're easy to write the uh, aspect and also the explanation. Then the markers are very easy to find your point. Okay, let's see we start the table. Okay, this one we call table form. One part you write about aspect. We just copy from the question. Okay, another one sure is reasons. You can say about reason, you can say about the explanation. Okay, first one we're talking about safety. Okay, you can say about the airbag. You can say about the safety belt. Okay, we just find the simple one. Okay, when I just say the sim, uh, the safety belt, that mean the safety belt they can hold the driver to hit the touch port, is it? So from here, the explanation there is a prevent driver launch forward. Okay, you can say so many. You can say a driver. Uh, you prevent the driver to hit the. Uh, the windscreen also can but don't answer safety the driver safe uh, this one is not detailed okay we need more details huh? okay and also the reason we not repeated when you just answer for the first one then the second one we are uh, using the another word to give the reasons don't uh, copy exactly same answer okay number two they're talking about shape okay we see about this question when anything about the racing car or anything about the plane, aeroplane, I want to lift up, okay, the car you want to move fast, we always using the shape is a streamlined shape. Okay, streamlined. So streamlined, the shape just like the racing car shape, later I show you. Or you don't using the streamlined, you can using the aerodynamic. Okay, aerodynamic. Streamlined, actually you can say about the bullet shape. They're just like the bullet shape, but we never using bullet shape. This one word, uh, we're using streamline. Okay, another say, you can say aerodynamic. Okay, now I show you what means of aerodynamic. Okay, let's see. Uh, this one we call aerodynamic shape. Okay, they're just like the plane shape. Okay, curve a bit. Okay, you can see the when the wind just come, they got rest resistant to block the air. 
Okay, that means the A can move easily. So this one we call aerodynamic shape. Okay, you prevent the A resistance. So when design the racing car, we also make at the bottom, at the head, at the top here, become more flat a bit. So we can make it become aerodynamic shape. So the car that will easy to move. Okay, that means you can reduce the air resistance. Okay, if the car you make it just like the bus, suppose the bus they will block the A. When you block the A, that means you need to overcome the air resistance. So you will slow down. So like this, the shape, that means you can reduce the air resistance, then you can go faster. Okay, so we turn back. So from here, I just answer streamline, or you can say aerodynamic. So your reason always the same. When you just see streamline, when you see aerodynamic, your answer must always reduce A resistance. Okay, reduce A resistance because you want to move faster. Okay, after that we go through to the power. Okay, let's see the power. Sure, I want fast lah. I want fast, the power must be strong, is it? So I just answer, I want high power. High power, the reason is I can pick up faster. Okay, the car can be picked up faster, the power, the CC higher. That means when you just pick up, you want to change uh, from the red traffic light, you want to, when they just turn about the green, they want to fast, they want to pick up, they will be very fast. Okay, how about the uh, stability? Stability because when the racing car, they move very fast, they want it more stable on the road. So they need to lower the center of the car body. Okay, center of the car body, they must lower down a bit. So important, you want to increase the stability of the car. Okay, and the last one, I want the racing car is low mass. Low mass, remember, always is lighter. Okay, lighter, that means you can go faster. So go faster, we can say the car now, they got large acceleration. Okay, so this one is a one of the example for ASA question. Okay, from this one, I say question, we can modify. We can modify, they become the aeroplane. So the shape, you also need to mention that just like the aerodynamic shape, the reason is reduce A resistance. Okay, when they ask about the power, sure also same, is a high power. Reason, pick up faster. So from here, some of the situation, the aspect, we can reuse to another situation. Then the reason you must always remember, Okay, this reason always match to the another aspect. So sometimes it's a one pair. Okay, if I say strong, your reason must be, uh, can be last longer. Okay, do not break easily. Okay, when I just say low density, your reason must always is lighter. Okay, or you say easy to carry. Okay, so this one is a sum of the pair of the answer. When you do more about the uh, this kind of the question, that means you know how to give the explanation. Okay, so this one is uh, important. You need to practice more. Okay, so this one is a discussion about the tutorial 2.4, just only short question. Okay, some students you still cannot get the paper. That means you can go through this one website to download or you just scan the barcode or you also can go do uh, description at the YouTube there. I already share about the link. You can just click it. After that, you can download. Okay. So for the student, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. So just thank you for your watching. Okay. Bye, every student. Thank you.